one second Donny Avery has to cross by yeah he's gonna run a crossing route wait one second Donny Here I am, here I am, it's the on-campus kingpin, yes I am. Gail Saunders, Eagles Sessions, SkinnyPost.com, talking the Eagles versus the Andy Reid's Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, and our beloved Eagles lost 16-26 to um, in the Andy Reid homecoming and a Donovan McNabb retiring of the jersey. Uh, big shout out to Donovan McNabb, first and foremost. Um, was rocking your jersey today. Um, appreciate what you did for us. Um, just the, not the right game to appreciate what you did for us because we lost. And uh, we lost Andy Reid. And uh, Andy Reid definitely had his Chiefs playing mistake-free football for a while. Uh, as much as we like to, uh, you know, crap on Alex Smith for being a game manager, a dink and dunker, a, you know, he's not the guy that will beat you with the deep ball, but he will check down uh, with the best of them. Captain check down. Um, definitely used his feet when he had to, you know, he, he you know, he did what he had to do. Um, but, you know, let's, let's talk about our Eagles offense first and foremost. Uh, first, no, let's talk about the defense, give them a shout-out for, you know, doing some big things uh, in, in the first part of the game. Uh, definitely slowing down this Chiefs offense. But the the offense, let's talk about the first five possessions here. Now, in my previous video last week against the Chargers, I said if this, if this team is going to be successful moving forward, they have to be able to get up on teams a little bit early, put some points on the board. Um, but when you start on your first uh, possession, well, you, they start off with a turnover before they even got the ball. Damaris Johnson, special teams, you got to secure the catch on the punt. Um, that, you know, first of all, that, that sucked. That sucked. I was like, it's going to be one of those nights. I knew it was going to be one of those nights after seeing that. But um, Bick gets up there. We got three plays, 14 yards. We throw an interception. Uh, it was a, a bad, bad mistake by Vic. Um, you know, he's got to make better decisions. Um, they just basically did the tip drill, put hands up. Uh, Johnson tipped it up. Barry ran it back for a touchdown. Uh, I mean, and then our second possession, we get six plays, 10 yards, and we punt the ball. Um, you know, still we're still in this game. Um, and then the Eagles come back, you know, you know, Vic has a nice run, sets it up, um, you know, then Avant gets, it, gets the opportunity to catch a beautifully thrown touchdown, and Vic gets stuck on that play, but it was, uh, he threw the ball right in there, it was a beautiful catch uh, by Avant, he secured the ball. The, the series after that, three plays, 30 yards, fumble. Uh, Kelsey got to get a, a better snap than that. Uh, he didn't. He not not only did it once, he did it twice. Um, and then on our fifth possession, uh, we're talking about five plays, eleven yards, and a punt. Now, if, that, if you look at that, we're playing the Chiefs, whose offense isn't that dynamic. They have a, a great run game, um, mistake-free play from the quarterback position. But if you're playing a great offensive unit. And you keep giving them the ball, um, they're going to score on us. You look at Aaron Rodgers. If you give, you give the Packers and Aaron Rodgers the ball, they're going to score on you. You give the ball to Denver Broncos and Peyton Manning and his offense, they're going to score on you. It's, this this offense wasn't that prolific. Their defense, however, was pretty 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 pro prolific. Now let's talk about the, the Chiefs' defense. Um, they basically uh, set the mold. Um, in a sense, uh, how to shut down this this offense. I mean, the Chiefs, out of all the three teams that we have played so far, Chiefs are they had a bit, the better defense at all three of them. Um, they played man coverage out there. They they forced um, the Eagles to say, hey, if you want to beat our corners, we'll go head-to-head -head man up, 
um, put the jam on you, see what you can do. Um, Deshaun Jackson, three catches, 62 yards. Avant, five catches, 87 yards, and touchdown. But um, pretty much Riley Cooper was a non-factor. Um, a lot of these receivers were not getting separation. I thought Deshaun Jackson should have been used more on crossing routes. Um, but you look at the rushing game. I mean, Vic, I mean, well, in the passing game, Vic had a 201 yards, uh, 13 for 30. Um, he had one touchdown and two interceptions and a fumble. Um, he did have five rushes for 95 yards, which is kind of crazy. Um, he used his legs and he was pretty smart. Um, and then LaShawn McCoy, thank God he did not hurt. Came back in the middle of the game. I thought he was done for the season. I thought the season was done. I was about to cry. Um, my girl was consoling me. But he came back 158 yards and touchdown. Um, had that huge run at the end of the game to um, put us with a uh, touchdown um, away. But um, it was just crazy, man. I, I, the, the offense, again, zero rhythm. The tempo was really screwed up. Um, and it's just you're just seeing like this this Eagles offense needs some pieces. I don't know if you know some of the things that they were doing the first week they're not doing, or are they are they holding back and not showing everything? They need to start bringing some other piece to the table. Uh, I could I could use some more um, double stack looks, perhaps. Um, I just I just think when you have the ball for you know less than 20 minutes again, uh, it's not a good thing. I mean, the Chargers had the ball for what 40 minutes. The Chiefs had the ball for what 39 minutes. That's the recipe right there. Hold on to the ball. Don't let the Eagles' offense on the field tire out their defense, and you got a W. We scored 16 points this game. The first two games were averaging 33 points. We were three for ten on third down. Um, the lat in the first two games were twelve for twenty six. Um, Got to get better in that sense. Um, it's just uh, and defensively, there's some guys on this defense. Like I'm not going to mention any names yet, right? Um, Nate Allen, you got you played a little bit better this game, but you still stuck out like a sore thumb. You have to come up in the get in better position to make tackles. Uh, Patrick Chung was missing a ton of tackles. Kendricks was missing tackles. As you can see, a lot of there's a lot of players missing tackles. One big blaring uh, mistake that you could see play after play on the those third and longs, Donnie Avery. When was the last time you've seen Donnie Avery be this productive? Seven catches, 141 yards. Uh, he's a pretty good receiver. He had injuries that derailed his career when he was with the Rams. But seven catches, 141 yards. Um, they, I mean, they, they did shut down Dwayne Bowe, but they had a lot of combo coverages. Um, they were, you know, they, they, they were doubling on Bowe. But I'm saying, you saw the crossing route. We knew the crossing route was coming, and they did not stop it whatsoever. Um, that was very depressing. Watching that, those plays right there, they could have stopped them. Um, and and end, the end of the uh, series, um, and the end of the game when the, the game was very close, the Chiefs drove it all the way down the field, kicked the field goal, opened up the separation. I thought they had a couple of opportunities to stop them. They just didn't stop them when they had that opportunity to. Props to Vinnie Curry. Props for you know finally allowing that kid to play. He he brought pressure, brought pressure to the table. Um, but I mean some negatives here. You know, like I said, there was a lot. It was a lot of penalties. Very sloppy. Um, these these Thursday night NFL games very sloppy. Terrible. These guys don't are playing hurt. Um, not rest well rested. You can see it. Sloppy. Uh, many turnovers. Many penalties, things that we haven't seen in the first two games, reared their ugly head tonight. Um, a lot of bad decisions, missed tackles, um, and special teams first and foremost. Uh, Damaris Johnson, um, well, first of all, the opening kickoff, 
you know, I got on Henry last last week for not getting in there on that fumble. He did get in there and try to make a tackle, horse collar, um, pulled out the horse collar. But um, and then you have Demaris Johnson dropping the punt. That's I mean that's you just can't start out like that. Uh, Alex Henry missing a field goal, another field goal that they really needed. Um, Chip Kelly trying to get too cute on the, the the point after. I mean, just kick the kick the PAT, man. Just just special teams was really bad today, and they looked great the first two games. But when you play three games in eleven days, that's three game three games in eleven days is no joke. And I know those guys must be tired and it must be banged up. Um, they, the positive here, they get to rest the next 10 days. So hopefully they, they come back uh, with some fight in them and they show up the Denver Broncos. We'll see. Anything can happen in the NFL. We'll see. But Denver Bronco, Denver Broncos, Peyton Manning, who can AMAO with the best of them, he will be audling his ass off. Yes, you will, and you're going to see it. It's going to be pretty damn tough to stop in that altitude in Denver, which is going to be sick. Um, I, I can't breathe already just thinking about our players running around in their up-tempo offense in the, that altitude because it's, it's, not, it's, not it's not Philly weather. You're up there in the mountains. So I don't know, Eagle fans, how did you guys feel out there? What stuck out to you the most? Um, I don't know, it's 1 o'clock in the morning, Eagle fans, what out there pissed you off the most? Uh, there was a lot, a lot of plays left on the field, a lot of mistakes, you name it. Um, but hopefully they'll get their act together. But right now I am not living the dream. Gail Saunders, KennyPokes.com, Eagle Sessions. Um, first and foremost, thanks to all my uh, new subscribers. Appreciate all the love. And appreciate all the comments below. Um, but I'll be talking to you guys soon, man. And yeah, Eagles are one and two. And uh, we got to do a better job. Oh.